Finding the correct trend in the price action is crucial for becoming a profitable trader, however many traders still struggle with this issue. Along with this traders enter into positions at the wrong time, placing trades too early or too late, causing for the stop loss to be hit. However, there is actually a strategy that can be used to solve all of these problems. The strategy we are talking about uses pivot points and the CPR method to easily and correctly identify the trend and potential entry points. Before we start, please subscribe to the channel to help us make these free videos. Now that we have gotten that out of the way, let's start. Let's first take a look at what pivot points are. Pivot points are actually just the average of the intraday high, low, and the closing price from the previous trading day. To make it easier to find the pivot points, let's add an indicator to the chart to help us with that. Head over to the Indicator Search tab. Now click on the Search tab and search for the SDCPR indicator, select the indicator made by Satoshi, and add it to the chart. Now let's change the settings of the indicator, to do this, click on the Indicator Settings tab and navigate to the Input tab, here we will be changing the lookback range to 100, now let's navigate to the Style tab. We will be making the indicator easier to read. To do this, let's first change the shapes to crosses, after that let's change the opacity and color of the crosses. That was all that we needed to do. The indicator we just added is the Central Pivot Range Indicator, also known as the CPR Indicator. The CPR Indicator is used to identify key points in the price action that provide support or resistance, allowing traders to use it to spot trends along with using it to spot reversals. You may be wondering where the pivot points are incorporated into this indicator, well, the indicator actually consists of three components. The upper line is the top central pivot range, the middle line is the previously discussed pivot line, meaning that this is the average of the high, low and close. Finally, the bottom line is the bottom central pivot range. Now that we know exactly how the indicator works, let's take a look at how we can read the indicator. The most basic way of using pivot points is as support or resistance levels. What makes the indicator so great for doing this is that the pivot points do not change based on the time frame you trade on. This means that every trader using the pivot points will see the same pivot points regardless of the time frame used. This allows for the pivot points to be respected more by the price action. The overall trend can also be read by using the central pivot range. Whenever the price is trading above the CPR, this indicates that we are in an uptrend. Along with this, if the CPR is higher than the previous day, this also indicates that the market is in an uptrend. The opposite is true for spotting a downtrend. Whenever the price is trading below the CPR, it signals that the market is currently bearish. Another way of confirming this is if the CPR is lower than the previous day, confirming that we are indeed in a downtrend. Another important aspect of the CPR is its width, it's important to understand the meaning of its width, to properly utilize and integrate the indicator into the strategy we'll be showing you. But before that, if you are looking for a broker that has extremely low commissions and spreads then check out Henko Trade, The best broker to trade Forex, indices, commodities or crypto. They have live chat support so that any questions you may have can be quickly and easily answered. One of Henko Trade's most prominent promotional offers is the matching deposit bonus that can be claimed when you open an account with Henko Trade. Sign up via the link in the description to register with Henko Trade and get access to all of these perks. As you can see here, the CPR is very wide, we know this because we can see that there are large gaps between the lines. A wide CPR is stronger and more difficult for the price action to break through. This means that wider CPR usually provides more support or resistance. If we take a look at the price action, we will indeed see that the price rejected off of the range. On the other hand, wide central pivot ranges can also indicate that the market is ranging. This is because the price action will come close to the CPR only to immediately reject it causing for the market to range. Here we see that this was the case, the price made a sharp move to the upside, however after this move had occurred the price action refused to break through the wider CPR causing for the market to range. A narrow CPR is usually less reliable as a support or resistance zone. It is important to not base your entries on a narrow CPR since there is a high chance that the price breaks through the zone. A narrow CPR can also indicate that the market is entering a trending phase. 
As you can see here a narrow central pivot range has formed. We can spot this because of the very small gaps between the lines. After the narrow CPR has formed price makes a big move to the upside, causing the market to start heavily trending. Now that we know how to use pivot points and how to read the CPR indicator, let's take a look at how you can use the CPR to enter into positions. First, we will need to identify the trend of the market. We will do this by taking a look at the position of the CPR and whether the price is trading above or below it. Say that the position of the CPR is higher than the previous day, then we will be looking for buy positions. However, if the position of the CPR is lower than the previous day, we will be looking for sell positions. Next we will be looking at the width of the CPR. If there are large gaps between the lines of the CPR, we can assume that the price will find support or resistance at that price level. However, you should also keep in mind that the wide CPR might cause the market to range. If we notice that the CPR is narrow, we should keep in mind that the market might be trending that day. Since the CPR is narrow, we should also be prepared for the price to break through the CPR since it will offer less support or resistance. Now that we know how we can use the CPR and pivot points to enter into positions, let's take a look at some entry examples so that you can fully understand how the CPR can be utilized. In this example we see the following, first, we can see that the price action broke the previous market structure by breaking the bearish trend line. As you can see here, instead of making lower highs, the price made a higher high. This indicates that there is a high chance of a bullish reversal. Secondly, we can see here that a new CPR has been created, if we take a closer look at the CPR we will also see that the lines are very close to each other indicating that even though the support it provides might be weak, there is a strong chance that the market will start heavily trending to the upside. Since there is still a chance that the price might break through the zone, let's first wait for the price action to reject it. As you can see, the price has rejected the CPR, so let's enter into the long position. We will be placing the stop loss at the bottom CPR line or at the swing low if it's too far away. For the take profit, we will be targeting a previous swing high, aiming for a risk to reward ratio of at least 1.5. Now let's see how the trade plays out. Here we see a significant shift in the market structure as the price action breached the bullish trend line, indicating a potential bearish reversal. Instead of recording higher lows, the price plummeted to a new lower low, confirming the bearish outlook. Furthermore, the creation of a new CPR with narrow lines suggests that it's likely for the market to start heavily trending in the downward direction. Because there is still a possibility of a price rebound, we will await for the price to reject the zone before entering into the position. As you can see here, the price rejected the resistance level, therefore, we will now enter a short position. We will be placing the stop loss at the recent upper CPR line or the swing high if the upper CPR line is too far away. For the take profit, our target will be the prior swing low, however, keep in mind that we will need for a risk to reward ratio of at least 1.5. Now let's take a look at how the trade plays out. Here we see a different setup, we can see that the trend switched from an uptrend to a downtrend. We know this because we can see that the CPR went from being above the previous CPR to below the previous CPR. If we take a look at the current downtrend, we can see that the price is making a pullback to the resistance line. Along with this, we also see that the price pulled back to the central pivot point line with a gravestone doji candle indicating a bearish reversal. Keeping this in mind, we will enter into the position once a candlestick closes outside the CPR. As you can see this occurred here, so let's enter into the sell position. We will be placing the stop loss at the upper CPR line or the recent swing high if the upper CPR is to close or far away. For the take profit, we will be targeting a previous swing low. Aiming for a risk to reward ratio of at least 1.5. Now let's see how the trade plays out. I hope you enjoyed the video and could see how powerful the CPR indicator and method is, if you did please leave a like and subscribe to the channel, if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment.